In the previous lecture, we understand how to create a new document in MongoDB database. We use MVC pattern to create the MongoDB document. Now, let me show you how you can get the record or you can say document from the response. We know that this route is going to call controller create and this create controller is going to create a new document in MongoDB. Now, let me just create another route here, just down here and here I'm going to specify app.get and I'm going to just make here a get request because I'm getting the data from the MongoDB database. So I'm going to make the HTTP get request and in the single code, I'm going to specify the path of my route or you can say of my API. So here I'm going to just specify get to do. So when you want to get the data from the MongoDB database, you can specify this route path. Now, just out of that, here I'm going to specify comma, call the controller and inside this controller, I'm going to create a function called find all. So in my to do dot controller dot js, just down here, I'm going to create a command and specify create find all controller. So here I'm going to say exports dot find all is equal to and then I'm going to pass here a callback function like this. And then I'm going to call this find all inside my route. So here I'm going to specify dot and then specify find all. So when I call this route, I'm going to call this find all controller. Let me save this file back to my to-do controller. And inside this controller, here I'm going to simply first call my schema, this one. I'm going to call this object. So inside this, I'm going to say here to-do and using it, I'm going to say dot find. And this find is going to return a promise. So I'm going to catch that promise just down here. So I'm going to say here dot them. Now make sure you pass response and request parameter to this function because this is a type of controller. So I'm going to say here request and response. Using these parameters you can access the request and response of the user. Just out of that once I have then method just down here I'm going to call catch method of promise. Inside my then method here I'm going to call to do's and pass a function here a callback function and as a response I'm going to send to this, this parameter. I'm going to send the response of this parameter. So this function is going to find all the documents from the MongoDB database and return that. And then I'm going to get that documents and send that as a response. Now, if there is any error inside this statement, I'm going to catch that using this catch method. So here I'm going to say error and pass here callback function. And then I'm going to say response.status and specify here 500 error code and then I'm going to send a message. So inside this parenthesis here I'm going to say message error dot message or if I don't have any value inside this message I'm going to say here some error occurred like this occur while retrieving. Now as you can notice your find all controller is now successfully ready. Let me check this controller. Let me save this file back to my route, save this file as well and let me open my postmon API testing tool. Inside this postmon, I'm going to first select my route. As you can notice here inside my route, here I have get to do. I'm going to just first select the localhost 3000 and I'm going to call here get to do dot and this is a type of get request. So I'm going to choose here get and instead of doing anything here, I'm going to just click on this send button. This send button is going to make this get request and call this find all controller. So when I click on the send button, you can notice inside my database, I only have one document. So this will just return a one record as a response. Let me just add another record inside this database. So I'm going to just select the post request and I'm going to select here create to do. And just out of that, I'm going to select my body and inside this title here, I'm going to simply say second to do list item just out of that inside the content I'm going to say here for testing to do's data and just out of that I'm going to click on this send button this send button is going to make a post request and call this create controller so when I click on the send button as you can notice I'm going to get the response back from this to do creator and now when I make a get request again to get to do you can notice I'm going to get two records here. Now let me explain this controller. 
So inside this controller, I'm going to simply first call my to do schema. And with that schema, I'm going to call a method find. You can get this find method with Mongo's module. There are different methods you can get with Mongo's module. We will look at that one by one. Find method is going to find the documents from the collection. Inside this to do's, as you know, we have the to do's collection. And we're going to get all the documents from that to do collection. Once we get all that documents, this find method is going to return a promise. If the promise is successfully resolved, it will call the then method. Otherwise, if the promise is rejected, it will call the catch method. Inside then method, I'm going to send a response with the send method and return the to do's. Inside this to do's, I have all my documents. Just out of that, if this promise is rejected, it will call this catch method with the status code 500 and you're going to get this message as a response when you make a request to the get to do route it's going to call this controller find all and then return a response back from that controller now once you understand how to find all your records or you can say all your documents from the collection let me show you how you can find a single document from your collection so in the next lecture i'm going to show you how you can find a single document or you can say a single record from your document. So in the next lecture, I'm going to show you how you can find a single document from your collection.